Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Ali Davida, and together with Mari Inoue, we are Mind Body Vault. If you are new here, perhaps you came over from the FBI blog on the January Wellness Program, or else just go ahead and introduce yourself in the comments. We'd love to hear what brought you here. We're super excited to have you join us. We're gonna get right into today's exercise, working on coordination. So we're gonna take it straight to the ground, coming onto hands and knees, hands underneath those shoulders. And we're gonna reach out with the right leg, stabilize through the right hand, left knee, and reach that left arm out. Inhaling here, you're gonna exhale to bring elbow to knee, inhale to reach, and then switch sides. So inhale, reaching, exhale, bring it in, inhale, reaching. Good, and we're just gonna go five times each side, and to really make sure that you're engaging through the core, almost think what muscles would you have to turn on if you're trying to lift that bottom knee off of the mat. So most likely it's not gonna lift, because that would take a lot <laughs> as you balance, but what would it take to really engage and wrap the muscles around that area? <laughs> not sure if you all can hear, those turkeys he's got here <laughs> out at the barn today. You know it's gonna be some kind of day when you've got when you've got the turkeys out. <laughs> Last time, each side breathing in and out. Awesome. We're gonna stay down on our hands and knees for this next one if you need to shake it out, or else we're gonna get right into it. Now we are gonna lift our knees to hover. Both knees lifted off the ground, and you're gonna kick opposite leg out to the side, okay? So as you turn, you're coordinating those efforts. Every time that we cross the body with our limbs, so arms and legs moving across that midline, you're really helping to activate the part of the brain that helps with coordination. So it's our proprioception that's getting turned on when we work on these coordinated efforts, the awareness of our body and space. And it can actually be, if you're having a stressed out day, we've got three more each side, doing an exercise where you're crossing the midline can help to perhaps alleviate a bit of tension and anxiety in your brain. One more. Kick it out. <laughs> awesome. All right. Give yourself some room here because we're going to be moving forward and back. Take a little break. We're going to do bear crawl. So let's get right into it. This is our movement for the day. Give it your all. So starting in a similar stance with those knees lifted, we're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, moving and really try to coordinate so you're precise here right? <laughs> we expect precision and grace from our horses, right? So really getting in this bear crawl, hand and foot to really land at the same time as you crawl. All right, let's go for three, two steps forward, two steps back, stay low and bend in those arms. Feeling it in the core, feeling it in the quads, maybe in the arms. Last step back. Awesome. All right. Go ahead and shake that up. Okay. This next exercise, I'm going to give you a demonstration first. So you can feel free to grab a drink of water and just watch me for this first one. Starting with a big step back of that left leg, hands to heart center. Take an inhale. As you exhale, look and turn to the right, level one. Level two, you're gonna go ahead and hook that opposite elbow for your twisted crescent lunge. You're gonna inhale, come to standing. Feel free to stand by a wall and use it for balance or else you're coordinating a twist now. You're gonna peel your hands overhead and look to the left. Option to kick it out <laughs> if you want more, okay? 
So everyone go ahead, we'll do it together three times each side. So from here, we're gonna step it back. That's our inhale. As you exhale, twist and turn to the right. As you inhale, hands to the back of the head, lift that knee, and then turn and twist. You can also just use that foot as a kickstand. You don't need to lift it off the mat. Coming back to center, two more times. Inhale to lift, and twist and turn as you exhale to the right. Use your breath. Inhale, mind-body connection. Exhale, twist and hold, or give it that kick. <laughs> Last time, big breath in. Exhale, twist and turn. Really challenging our brains, using our bodies. Remember, you can use it just with that foot on the floor. Turn. Or else turn and kick. Awesome. Shake it out right onto that second side. Breathing in, inhale. Twist, turn, exhale. Shake it really good. Inhale, come up to balancing. Turn it out, exhale, hold or tap and kick. Back to center. Two more, breathing in. Now you can just turn here or tap that elbow. Inhale, feeling needed. So good for that ankle strength and stability. Staying on one leg. Last time, breathing in. Exhale, twist. Really enjoying that third rep. Coming up. Some finish. Shake it out. We've got one more exercise here for you today. This one's pretty fun. Give yourself plenty of space on either side, about arm's distance. And you're going to take yourself bending in your knees, so much so that you can touch your hands to the floor. Now, if you can't reach the floor, go ahead and grab a block or a bucket turned upside down, perhaps, so that you have something for that feedback to tap your hands onto and perhaps for balance as well. Now you're going to take that second leg and just go ahead and let it balance behind you. We're not worried too much about what that looks like. If you're a vaulter, I demand your toes pointed and your head is straight. So you might see me doing that. It's okay to use it a little bit soft here. Now this is level one. We're just coordinating our balance here. Let's go ahead and check that out on the other side as well. So again, if those fingertips can't come all the way to the floor, just hover them but I do suggest having an object or else the balance might be a little bit trickier, okay? So, same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate and then you can follow along. For this exercise, as you balance here, you're gonna follow the movement of your own hand, that's why you might need something to balance with, to the left and to the right. We're gonna go two times each direction, okay? Have some fun with it, right? Sometimes we need to have that balance between joyfulness and play and focus. So find that perfect level for you. Let's go ahead and get started. I suggest starting on the leg that you um, are least confident on. Generally, if you're right-handed, start on the left leg. All right, so softening that bottom knee. First, just find your balance and stability here. Level one, you're gonna take five breaths here, five or six breaths. Level two, you're gonna add on movement. You know, maybe it's just about a foot. See how far you can take it. And the most important thing is you're moving your gaze. As we move our gaze, a lot of that is a feedback for our balancing systems. So if you're having trouble balancing, like a gymnast or a vaulter, we would always spot for something. Here you're on a stable object. <laughs> Imagine you're doing this on a horse. And really, you are all doing that on some level, right? Go ahead and switch sides. There's so many pieces. All of the disciplines are pretty epic, <laughs> right? There's so many things going on, so many moving pieces. That's why we love teaching ground training to equestrians, because you're all really, pretty hardcore. <laughs> and this can just help you level up right? So that your body has these connections to your brain before you get on. And then really you're just working on your 
connection and training for the course, the partnership together. One last time here. Go ahead and shake it on out. We would highly recommend that you would follow this up with a cool down. So go ahead, we have a cool down stretch out video available for you all on our channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Feel free to repeat this entire workout, this entire video another time or even three times in a row. Get that full 30 minute workout in. Thank you all so much. Have a great day.